One of the darkest times in Soviet history were the purges, which took part in the latter part of the 1930s. And Joseph Stalin, the NKVD, purged essentially key individuals they thought could ever pose a challenge to his reign, including any members of the military above the rank of major. They decimated the military, decimated the intelligence service, millions of people died. But as they were purging members of the intelligence service, people were imprisoned. And the only thing it took to be imprisoned was you had to be denounced by someone else. So if you were jealous of your neighbor, if they had more cows than you did, they had more land, you simply had them denounced as a spy. If they were a competitor of yours in the intelligence service, if they were your boss, you just say, you believe they're a German spy. And that's all it took to be imprisoned. So there was chaos in the intelligence community. Individuals that were imprisoned were taken to the notorious Butyrka prison. And at the time it was about 200 years old. It was built with the sanitation requirements you can imagine for something built 200 years previously. It was dark, dingy, much of it was beneath ground. It was a horrible place. Now, Lavrenti Beria, who became the head of the NKVD, an early predecessor of the KGB, maintained an office there. And he would go and personally interview individuals in the intelligence service who had been accused of being spies. And these were often people he liked, he didn't like, but he wanted to be done with them. And they are there pleading for their life and trying to convince him of their loyalty, that they were truly loyal Stalinists. The office is still in the prison, and in that, they maintained this camera. And this was the camera often that Beria used to photograph individuals that had been arrested. Uh, we had a representative that went there for us, and among the items we brought back was this camera. And they still maintained it, they maintained Beria's desk, and this was his camera that was used. Though it's a dark part of Soviet history, it's certainly an interesting example of an artifact from that era.